Thanks for tuning in to this week's Total Pickleball Vlog. Today I'm excited to feature some new products, definitely some similarities, definitely some differences. We're gonna start it off with the ball. The ball does matter. Uh, beginning with Franklin's 80 millimeter training ball. Uh, this ball is not a USAPA approved ball. However, it is an incredible tool for training, whether or not you're an improver or a more experienced player, as this ball kind of is easier to track due to the fact that it flies slower through the air. Uh, great ball, it's gonna perform basically in terms of impact wise, made of the same materials, it's gonna perform the same as any ball. Again, it's just a great training device. Next up, we'll go with the glow in the dark ball. This one is a standard 74 millimeter ball. And again, it is not USAPA approved, but it does play precisely like the standard Franklin ball. However, once you put this in the sun for approximately 15 to 20 minutes, you're gonna get about an hour of really bright fluorescent play out of it. So if you're playing in low light to no light conditions, this is an ideal ball. Again, 40 drilled holes. It's a precision oriented ball. It's gonna play just like any other. It's just gonna give the uh, option to do this nocturnally. And last up, one of my favorite things to come through here is a 69 millimeter ball. This is the Franklin training ball. And again, non-USAPA approved, very fun to play with. I use this along with the Franklin Sweet Spot Trainer. This ball is ideal for uh, improving consistency and scalpel-like precision due to the fact that this compact ball slips through the air with very little problem. It is a fast ball for sure. Again, 40 precision drilled holes a great ball. All these balls make incredible gifts or accessories to your bag. Be sure to take a little closer look at these product descriptions in our system. Next up, we've got four paddles from Gearbox. These are just hitting the market right now. They look a lot, uh, a lot alike, but looking under the hood, you're gonna see some differences for sure. I'll start off with the similarities. They're all weighing about eight ounces. They all have a 14 millimeter core all have a five and a half inch handle length and a four inch handle diameter. Now where these begin to depart and what is really unique about them, I'm gonna choose this fusion uh, shape here. This one is called the Pro Control Fusion Paddle and the distinction between this and the other paddles is it's 16 inch overall length. But with a five and a half inch handle length, perfect for one or two hands to control the action on the paddle. And then it is unique in that it is 7.35 inches across the span. This paddle really has very little drop off in terms of power, but an increase in maneuverability and a particularly uh, depth feel at net, whether you're trying to roll your shots in near the kitchen or third chop drops from the baseline. This paddle is definitely different and very easy to play with. And next up here, we're gonna choose from the elongated uh, portion of this family of paddles. This is the Pro Control Elongated, utilizing all the same technologies as the Control Fusion. However, you're getting a little bit more length-based power out of it by virtue that it is a 16 and a half inch overall paddle length. All these paddles are extremely dampened. One of the more solid series of paddles I've ever felt in my life. Very quiet as well. Uh, very predictable, very control oriented, aptly named for sure. And then let's give a little attention and shine some light onto the power uh, series. This one here happens to be the Pro Power Fusion. And the difference between these and the control is Gearbox's use of the Power Matrix technology. All these paddles feature the SST Core technology. And the Power Matrix, what that does is kind of amplify the energy return of the SST Core. Uh, what it does is kind of segment the, the frame from the core and the surface materials, and that is definitely amplifying the power. It is very noticeable. You don't have to swing quite as fast to get shot depth. Um, all these paddles are extremely uh, spin friendly. Uh, Long-term grit on here. I can't beat the grit off of these paddles uh, swinging the ball. And lastly, we want to feature the Gearbox Pro Power Elongated. This one again features the Power Matrix technology as opposed to the Control Fusion and the Control Elongated. And again, featuring the same 14 millimeter core, longer handle with the length-based power. And again, I want to mention these paddles are extremely quiet. I know this is becoming an issue. We've got a kind of a green list and a red list for paddles that are able to play at municipal courts, etc. These perform well and are definitely quieter paddles than what you're finding uh, on the market these days. And that's about all we have for you this week. If you'd like to learn anything more about these balls or paddles or anything else pickleball related, be sure to visit TotalPickleball.com.